Hello, my name is Marek Kaminski. I'm from Brower Kingpin. Uh, we come from Poznan. Okay, Marek, uh, Brower Kingpin, uh, what did you do before brewing? Uh, before brewing, uh, um, I'm an uh, educated manager, so I spend my life in uh, companies dealing mostly with finance and accounting. Uh, also managing some companies in the industry, in building materials, in packaging. Uh, so basically, that was what I did before I took up brewery. And how did you? Uh, when did you brew your first brew? Uh, that was around uh, 2013. Uh, but of course, my interest in brewing started way before that. My interest in beer. Uh, the first, first things I can recollect that was the uh, the first half of the 90s when I was traveling a lot to Germany, and that was a time when in Poland we could not get anything uh, too interesting. So the classic German beers were extremely interesting for me at that time. So I got interested in beer. Uh, then of course I observe what's going on. Uh, I've seen what I've seen the whole revolution thing in the United States and. Um, as soon as the first craft beer appeared in Poland, um, very soon I, I said to myself, why the hell not? And maybe we should give it a shot too. Yeah. And then you started uh, a gypsy brewery? Yeah, we started, we were ready uh, 2013, but we actually started 2014 uh, in September. Our first beers came out uh, in our first two beers came out in uh, in September 2014. That was uh, the pale ale that we still brew, Rock and Rolla, and Black IPA, which is currently unavailable, but I think of brewing it again. Uh, and that was the beginning of, of our you know of our road. There were there were a couple of us, a couple of friends uh, at that time. Uh, I now continue with uh, with my wife with the business. And uh, of course, we're still contract brewers, we're still gypsies. Uh, yeah, and, but that's basically it. Any, any plans to buy your own brewery? Uh, you know, you, you always think of that, but uh, nothing going on in that regard at the moment. Uh, uh, I think the, the contract brewing suits us uh, just fine. Um, the place we brew our beers is uh, we've been working with them since the very beginning. So for the last seven years, a good friend of ours. Uh, there's a lot of trust in our relations, so we can basically do uh, what we want uh, at the brewery. So uh, we're happy with that, and for the moment we continue. Yeah, uh, you mentioned uh, you started with German styles of beer. Um, what styles do you mainly brew? You specialize in certain styles. Uh, we started like 2014. We started, and we we will uh, uh, we were known for the beers with some uh, more experimental beers with some special ingredients. Uh, uh, but then, uh, after a couple of years, we switched more to like clean beers. For the moment, we do a lot of pale ales, IPAs, of course, uh, hazies, of course, because this is what what the market is all about at the moment. But we are happy to, to brew saisons, for instance. Uh, we bottle age saisons, we got two on tap today. Uh, actually, one season, one, one wild ale. Uh, we do some, uh, some dark, strong beers, but this is not exactly our specialty. So uh, we do pills, uh, we do classic beers. We have a Baltic Porter, we have a line of classic beers. Uh, so we, we try to, uh, I try not to limit myself to, to any particular style of beer because I, I, I think it's uh, the more interesting in craft beer brewing that uh, the variety of styles uh, that you can pick up uh, whatever you want and try to interpret the style in your way. So this is what really, really drags me in and this is what I like about it. What are the newest beers you recently released? Uh, we at the festival we premiere our new IPA, which is brewed with Citra and an experimental hop from Hopsteiner, uh, which is doing very well on our taps. And uh, we've brought two very limited beers uh, that's been bottle aged for two years in uh, in sherry bottles. One of them is Saison, one of them is Wild Ale, the ones I mentioned before. 
and these are very limited beers. We we only present them on, on festivals and on some special occasions. We uh, we don't distribute in any any other outside of this kind of events. Yeah. You do you already export outside of Poland? Yes, we do. We do. We do it for a couple of years. Uh, it's nothing nothing like constant. We. Our beers are present or were present on many European markets, uh, and we still we still do some uh, some exports. But our main concern is Polish market. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.